What's up Nintendo Gamers, The Kid here with another Super Smash Bros. Wii U update. So apparently Palutena from Kid Icarus was leaked for Smash Bros. on the 3DS here. This could be definitely fakes, but who knows. Um, there was a NES leak not too long ago, but that appeared to be fake, so we'll see in the future. Also, we have a new assist trophy, and that is Ashley from the WarriorWare games. No word on what she'll be able to do, but as of now, she is deconfirmed to be a playable character in Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. And through today's pick of the day, Sakurai tells us how the metagame for ledge grabbing has changed some. He says, an image demonstrates changes that have been made to edge grabbing. Link is shown preventing Mario from taking his position on a ledge on the Wii U version of Battlefield. He also adds that airtime and accumulated damage will determine your period of invincibility while hanging on a ledge, and also grab controls will no longer be affected by whether you have above or below 100% damage. So that is the news, let's get into my thoughts and there are going to be some new screens so let's get into that. So with Palutena being leaked, I really don't believe that. I mean, I do think she has a pretty significant chance of being in the game since Kid Icarus Uprising and all. She's a really cool character and there'll be another female on the roster. I don't really think that this leak is accurate. Like I said, there was a leak for Ness supposedly, but that turned out to be fake. But this does look mighty elaborate because while Ness did have a 3d motto for him from the previous games for them to actually do that um Palutena actually doesn't i don't think in kid Icarus uprising there was a motto like a 3d motto for Palutena, unless it was through like some type of trophy or something i'm not uh, I really can't remember if Kid Icarus Uprising had anything like that, but this will be one of the better leaks. But for now, it's just, it's yet to be confirmed. Who knows, maybe um, Friday we'll get a some type of information or maybe we'll get her revealed. So about the whole edge grabbing metagame being changed, um, I really don't know what Sakurai meant by that last term. He says, grab controls will no longer be affected by whether you have above or below 100% damage. I really don't know what he meant by that, but um, it is good to know that airtime and, and accumulated, accumulated damage will determine your period of invincibility while hanging. That way people can't just ledge grab any old way they want and they can actually be attacked and you know won't have super broken invincibility i'm not saying that uh brawl had a lot of invincibility but it had more than melees which sometimes would get annoying but not really um so that's good that's a good change actually and so we have a bunch of pictures we're going to go through really quickly um of like zelda but i'm i can't get all of them in the video um, trust me, I'll try, but yeah, there's some of the pick of the day pictures in here also, um, from previous days. So what do you guys think about the information? What do you think about the Palutena link? I don't think it's real. I mean, who knows? We can get a reveal on Friday or sometime. Um, it would be nice to have Palutena, like I said, adding to the female roster, which there's a lot of females in this, this time. And Sakurai really wanted more females in smash brothers so this will definitely contribute to that so about the whole edge grabbing metagame being a little bit changed what do you think about that tell me that in the comments below and the pictures of the day and everything were you someone who used to edge hog like a freaking jerk in smash Bros? i never liked the edge hogging in super smash bros when i played competitively because i felt like that was a cheap death i'd rather knock someone completely out than to just squander their chances of getting back on 
you know, uh, fairly. I just never thought that edge hogging was fair. And so I rarely did it. The only time I ever did it was when you just would not die. And yes, I'm looking at Snake. Snake never freaking gets ringed out easily. And that's the only time where I actually ledge grab was with him. And I believe Zelda too. Zelda is hard in Brawl to actually get out the ring sometimes uh, so I would use that tactic because I was getting absolutely tired of the person not dying and they have way more than a hundred percent and somehow still surviving and won't get a ring out so yeah so yeah that's it for this update guys I have more updates on Super Smash Bros Wii U as more things are revealed thank you for watching sources of course will be in the description below if you want to see where this news came from and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates on super smash brothers for wii u and other nintendo games coming up very soon thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next update